Because <laughs> I was about to say, what's up, you just jabronis? You and then do it, man. You, you run it. Yo, what up, world? Thank you guys for watching. This is Chan Prize, aka Kevin. Before we get into the full video with uh, Jojo Romero, a couple of questions for the King of Juco from you, the viewers, uh, that we want to ask. Okay. And uh, yeah, so if you guys want to ask any other questions in the future for future vlogs, uh, follow us on socials. We'll have something in our IG stories to get you guys to ask questions for. Mm -hmm. Eric, so that's right. First question is one tip that you give yourself at the beginning of your pro career. Probably like not listen to too many people, because um, one of the biggest mistakes I've heard, I've, I've, I've done in my career uh, was I was trying to listen to too many people, too many coaches, uh, trying to do too much. You know, like I'm trying to fix like ten different things when I didn't have to do that and really get myself up for no reason. And especially when you're at the high level, you know, you can't really do that. You know, the the, the best thing you can do is stay as simple as possible and find something that works for you and focus on that. And for me, because I was trying to do so much, especially hitting side of things. I mean, catching wise, I was fine. Like I mean, I, I was throwing guys out and stuff like that. It just uh, just the hitting side of things, I was just trying to do so much, try different things every week. It just it, it wasn't it, you know. And so, if there's, there's one thing I could I could say to my you know younger self, it'd be like, hey, like just just do what thing you think is right, and just focus on that. And don't try to change yourself, who you are, what got you there. You know what I'm saying? So, I, I would say kind of add to that, like not necessarily to not listen to the coaches, but kind of take like that's definitely not what I'm like, saying. Yeah, definitely like with a grain it's, of salt. exactly. Yeah. And and and. and when you're at the pro level, especially when you can show up to spring training, there are like 30, 40 coaches, you know, and you can't listen to all these different things that they're, they're telling you. And they, they mean they mean well, and it just, I don't give a fuck. Like, the, 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 you mean well, but you're telling me 20 different things. You know what I'm saying? You can't do that. Um, so again, focusing on something that you truly is, is, is right, and you just gotta, you just gotta stick with it. Uh, second question is, uh, like, as a content creator, do you have any tips or advice for someone that is starting to be a content creator? Uh, biggest thing will be consistency. Uh, that is, even for me, the position I'm at, and I, I do I do well for myself, and I, I'm very very happy. Like I enjoy coming to work and stuff like that. But all this came because of my prison baseball days. You know what I'm saying? Like if I didn't do any of that, there's no way these guys have noticed who I was and where and, and gave me the opportunity to do what I'm doing now. You know, so whatever you're doing right now, whether it's you know. I don't know, making a video for lifting or, or studying or, or, or baseball, whatever. It doesn't really matter what you're doing, uh, but just keep doing it. Um, and dude, I started with zero fucking subscribers on YouTube too, just like everyone else. And it took me a year to build up to about a thousand subs. And then now after like it started, things started to click, I got better with editing and then you know, like people were starting to notice my stuff. And then I got bigger and bigger. As my social media grew, my, my YouTube grew along with it. But, but again, going back to the point, just because I was getting shit views or whatever, that didn't stop me. You know, I was getting a thousand views. If I got a thousand views on a video, that was in two yeah. weeks, that was a good video for yeah. me back in the day. Yeah. But I mean, I kept on doing it. I kept on making videos. And I, it's not like I've, I've had like editing, you know, like lessons or anything like that. I just basically just Google it, you know, and just find a way YouTube it. And then you learn. And I was using uh, the iMovie, you know, old school, like a free stuff. And that's how you start. But the biggest thing I tell them is like, just be you, and do, do be authentic, and also be consistent. And a couple rapid fire questions here. Okay. How do you like your steak? Hey, medium rare is what I would like it. Sometimes medium, depending on how they fucking cook it. Now everyone cooks a little different, so we the fuck up, medium rare or fucking die. But if you can't fucking figure it out, medium. All right, next question is uh, in and out or Whataburger? In and out for sure. Whataburger is fucking trash. What do you? What the stupid ass question is that? All time favorite beer? Ooh, all time. Do I like Japanese beers, man? Like I do like them. Like uh, like Kirin, fucking uh, Sapporo. Sapporo, fucking Asahi, like all that shit. Like I mean, I'm fucking crushing it. Uh, I do like beer. I do like wine. I actually studied wine. People don't know when I was bar managing. I'm level two certified, so suck it. I'm the best ever. Uh, which is a perfect segue. Uh, but what was your favorite drink to make? Ooh, uh, when I was bar bartending, bar managing. I mean, I like classic drinks, you know? Like, I mean, as simple as old fashioned is. I mean, even the old fashioned, like, you can do so many different twists to You can do so much different stuff with it. Smoked old fashioned, which were one of my favorites. So, like, basically, we make an old fashioned, right? And you have, like, a, either like a, 
on a bird nest or whatever, you can kind of capture something and you have, you have like a smoker and then you can do like a hickory or something like that along with it. It's just beautiful presentation. When you open it, like kind of smoke comes out and there's like a, your beautiful drink there and you drink that in. And honestly, like, I mean, simpler drink, the better. For me, I like classical cocktails. Um, craft cocktails are nice too, but I like classical drinks like uh, Negroni's good. Uh, big fan of uh, gin as well. So Negroni's a great drink. Um, fucking old fashions and stuff like that I, I used to crush, so. Right, and then the last question is, how does it feel having the best videographer ever? <laughs> Shout out to Elise. Cut! <laughs> this fucking, this jabroni. But honestly, hey, with uh, with jokes aside, Kevin's the fucking man. Now, right now, he's trying to leave me for fucking stupid Trevor Bauer for no reason. That guy fucking sucks. He's trying to take my guy. You ain't taking him, all right? He's my guy. He's sticking with me. Fuck you, all right? But he's the GOAT. Follow him at Channel Prize or fucking die, baby. Awesome. Boom. All right. Uh, Smell it. Time to catch Jojo Ramiro. What's up, you jabronis? Welcome back to the channel. Today, I have a special guest at the facility. Hey, man, this motherfucker's a legend. Uh, I remember Pitching Ninja tweeting about this as well. Chugging the fucking Red Bull, crushing it in full sand. My guy, Jojo Romero. How we doing, man? What's up, y'all? What's Thanks going for having on? me. Swing and a miss. Swing and a miss. Jojo Romero, uh, left-hand pitcher with the Phillies. Let's go, baby. Hey, so let's do a quick background on that Red Bull incident. Um, what, what was going through your head, man? Man, I was just trying to get fired up. <laughs> Went back to those Juco days, you know? Uh, <laughs> You're a Juco <laughs> bandit, right? Juco, Juco bandit, bandit, baby. What, what Juco? Yavapai? Yavapai, Rough Dude, Riders. Arizona Juco is no joke, huh? It's, it's different, man. It's, it's different, different out it's, here. It's ball game right here, man. I mean, they got some really good programs out here, including Yavapai. But yeah, man, so... Um, Today is bullpen. Uh, what are you trying to work on? And also, you've had a uh, Tommy John, right? Yeah, so how's TJ. That coming? Uh, next week will be nine months out. So okay. just kind of getting, getting back close. on the mound, that climb back, baby. Mm -hmm. How's uh, how's our arm feeling? Feeling great. And feeling good, baby. Let's go. So what do we got today for the bullpen? Uh, just a little 15 pitches, short box. Short you know, box. Kind of getting off the mound, getting the okay. arm speed back Are you going to be throwing uh, any uh, all the pitches or just uh, heaters or whatever? Mainly fastballs, maybe okay. a couple changeups at the very end. But okay. yeah, just strictly fastballs. And what do you throw during the season? Uh, so we got sinker, four seam, uh, change up slider. Do you mind uh, showing the grip for the boys? Hey, people love the grip, you know what I'm saying? So shout out to Pitching Ninja for this idea. Just like, you know, grip, people love the grips, you know? So share the, share the yeah, well so here. Just four seam, standard okay. four seam okay. here. Sinker, just right in the middle. You, uh, which one do you throw more? Sinker or sinker? Sinker, yeah, sinker. I love throwing my sinker. Hmm. And then change up. Got this from Pitching Ninja too. Really? Pitch, dude, pitching Ninja saving careers out here, man. Let's go. Right there. Let's go, baby. And then slider. I mean, it's a mix of anything, just kind of what the feel is. Uh -huh. The one I got from Pitching Ninja, just kind of watching the, okay, the by flip the side of it, yep. flipping the horseshoe, but yep. anywhere from here to the other side of the horseshoe. And what's your cue on that? Like, what, what, is there a cue that you're using for your slider? Um, get on top or whatever. I, I, kind of that standard, you know, getting the fingers through it. Fingers and through usually it. with this one, this is where I really feel like my fingers kind of lack behind it. Right. So when I get over the ball and can get over the seams here, I really feel myself staying on top of that ball and ripping through it. Right, right. Let's take, man. All right, baby. Let's get it. Let's 15 it. pitch, uh, nice and easy. Um, let's get it, man. For the boys. I know you guys uh, love the, the catching content. Shout out to the real catcher out there, though. My boy Austin caught about... How many bullpens did you catch today? Holy shit. I don't even know. <laughs> Too many to count? Like... 12. <laughs> That's insane. Um, but yeah, man. All right. So it's time to drink some G Fuel. So let me. Hey, G Fuel or die. I use my code King of Juco forever. Let's get it. And my boy over there got that G Fuel too. Let's get it. Yeah, Let's go. How's that taste? All right. Give a little uh, taste taste review. I'll give you the best one, by the way. Tetris Blast. Great flavor. <laughs> 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 All right, Chief, if you're watching this, hey, Jojo remembers your guy. He might be your first big leaguer uh, for a sponsorship. So, um, anyways, let's catch this fucking pan. Let's go, boys. <laughs> Man, shit. Going gas over here. Oh, dude, he's nasty, bro. Damn, dude, I can't even catch this motherfucker. Just nice and easy, man. Throwing strikes. Are those the sinkers that you're throwing right now? Four Just four seams. Holy shit. Really, they don't actually do that. Damn, must be nice, dude. Must be nice. Nice. It's easy gas. Easy gas. A natural movement. I mean, guy's nasty. Yep. Being low. Nice. Ooh. 
<laughs> Just easy gas. You're not even trying right now, huh? You're fuck. Must be nice, dude. I'm grunting 86. You're fucking doing that. <laughs> fuck me. <laughs> you tried to go for that one, didn't you? You wanted that 90. <laughs> I like it. I like this guy, man. D gap. I love it. No, oh, damn it. <laughs> um, just so you guys know, that was 91. Um, he was not trying at all. Oh my. Damn it. <laughs> I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna fucking get it. All right, I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get the velo for you guys. I wanna show you. Just easy guess, man. Easy guess. I got it. I got it, boys. I got it. Let's go. G Fuel or Die, baby. Use my code King of Juco. Let's go, baby. Throw gas, drink fuel. Let's go. Oh Whoa. my. <laughs> drink fuel, throw fuel, baby. Let's get it. Holy shit, that was 91. Easy. Oh my. Pros are good, all right? You think you're good, but you're not. <laughs> fucking love this guy. My fucking guy right here, dude. Dude, how'd you feel? Fucking Missy dude, feeling. dude, let's go, dude. How's it wing feeling, man? I'm, I mean, it feels looks, good. Looks like it's coming on live. Yeah, I know. Huh? It surprised me. What was your velo uh, before um, TJ? So coming out of spring was sitting 97, 98. <laughs> so <laughs> fuck this guy, man. <laughs> uh, so yeah, all right, sick. Um, so you throw gas, sick. Um, and how's the uh, wing feel? I mean, that was. Dude, that honestly did not look like you were trying at all. No, I mean, it felt easy. It felt like I was just kind of going through the motions, box, getting the arms motions yeah. and throwing 91. <laughs> Must be nice. All right, so um, the full pen and mobile, though. Yeah, uh, no, it felt great. Accomplish what it. you want to accomplish. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, man, just keep doing it. Keep grinding. Fucking get that shit up. And then uh, I'll catch you more if you, if you don't mind whenever you come in next Absolutely. or whatever. Absolutely. Let's keep doing it. Um, and, yeah, for the boys, we're going to chug G Fuel. And we're going to crush it on our forearms. All right, let's fucking go, baby. Idiot. <laughs> <laughs> oh jeez. Sponsor this man right here. G hey G Fuel, Fuel baby. Hey. MLB pitcher, Drink video Fuel, gamer, Fuel. video gamer, sponsor this man. What are we doing? You guys are missing out. Come on. Uh, if you haven't like, subscribe, and don't forget, let's big throw gas and hit bombs, baby.